Hi guys, it's Bonner, and you've probably noticed a shortage of videos around here. I, I haven't avoided it in a while. And I kind of have a reason for that, and that's because of a little game called Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. Now, I have been so happy playing this game because I've actually been waiting to play this game for three quarters of a year, and it's never been compatible with my device. And I've tried everything to play it, and it never worked. And now it's actually became compatible, so I've been playing it non stop since the day I got it. So literally, every single day I've played it, every single day since I got it. So, obviously, that's kind of interrupted the video schedule because I just love playing the game. And since I haven't uploaded in a while, I thought to myself, can I make a video about this game? And I tried, well, I didn't try, but I had some ideas of thinking I could just do my genuine opinions on the game. And I'm not really sure if that would be the best. So, I thought that maybe I could do a top five on my favourite skins in the game because I've been recently collecting all these cool skins and I've just been thinking to myself like wow these look so good so I thought to myself why not rank them in a top 5 list my 5 favourite skins in FNAF AR now hopefully my friends will also be doing a video on this so once that's out I'll link it in the description it might not be there yet but for now, let's get into my top 5 favourite skins in Five Nights at Freddy's AR. At number 5, I have Toxic Springtrap. This skin is just so, so cool. The shade of purple is just brilliant. All of the details on it, the boils and the insides. If they were going to do this for any character, it definitely works best for Springtrap. I know they did Radioactive Foxy. But that's different, that's basically just Green Foxy, and I do love that skin, but Toxic Springtrap is just so amazing. The, like, I, I can't stop mentioning the shade of purple, it just works so well. The detail, and William Afton looks like he's in such pain in there, like seriously. <laughs> Could someone just like give him a shower or something? The Toxic is just so cool, the patterns and everything, and the design is just brilliant for this skin, and it definitely earned its way under number 5 spot. Alright, at number four, we have Scorching Chica. This is a skin that I actually forgot about quite a lot, and it only became, um, like, it only became one of my favourites yesterday, actually, just because I literally just remembered that it existed yesterday. And thank god it does, because this skin is brilliant. I love the magma texture on Chica. It's so detailed, and the cupcake is literally just dead. Like, thank you. Why couldn't you have done that in FNAF 4? I don't know how to deal with a cupcake in Final Fantasy Freddy's 4. But, like, the cupcake is just burned to a crisp. Like, what the... Why? But it's such a cool detail. Like, the cupcake, clearly the heat was too much for it. And, like, it's literally on fire. The candle isn't doing anything for that cupcake, but it is burning. Chica is burning. Everything is just on fire. On my collection of skins, it's probably chaos in there in the workshop on my game because I have like so many different skins and everything's just going to set on fire. Because if that was a real place, Scorching Chica would just burn the whole place down to a crisp. She is so cool, so like the texture's so cool. I'm I'm not, I'm not lying. It's a very, very good skin, and the texture is just brilliant. And it is a very good skin, and earned its way on the list. Alright, at number three, we have something that some people wouldn't have expected, and that's Boulder Toy Bonnie. And the reason why you wouldn't have expected it is because it's only been out for actually, like, five days now? Like, it's a, a very recent skin, and a very good skin. I don't know where this theme is going, because we got Woodland Toy Freddy, we got Boulder Toy Bonnie, what's next? Is it gonna be, like, Vine, Rosebush, Mangle or something? Come on, Omix. That's a good idea, make it happen. But Boulder Toy Bonnie just looks so good. It definitely works good with Toy Bonnie because I don't know why, but it's just, it just feels right, you know? Like, and there's so many good details about the skin. Obviously with all of these skins, I love the audio details with like Freddy Frostbear when he moves, it's like ice, like smacking some ice with a, a sledgehammer. When Rock, um, Rock Bonnie, that, 
Thanks, Dorco. With Boulder Toy Bonnie, whenever he moves, it's just like scraping rocks together, and it just looks so cool. His, the inside of his head is hollow, and that is just so cool. I love this skin. He's crumbling, there's moss on him. It's an all-round amazing skin, and it just looks so good. And this is a weird thing to like, but I really like the poses that he does in the workshop. It just looks so cool. And it's a very, very good skin. Like, Illumix have never released a bad skin. I'm gonna put that out there. There's never been a bad skin for FNAF AR. There have been some that are better than others, but none of them by any means are bad. Except Firework Freddy, I don't really like that one. But, like, this skin is just so amazing. All the textures... The textures? The, the textures are really great. <laughs> and it just looks very, very good. Definitely earned its way on the list. Right, at number two, we have Flaming Springtrap. I really love the Sizzling Summer skins. Because Scorching Chica, I mentioned how cool the fire was and that my workshop was going to be on fire. Yeah, I have Flaming Springtrap in there. You want to come take a look, you will burn. I love how Flaming Springtrap is literally on fire. Like, I think like it was a little bit overkill with Scorching Chica when it was just a little bit of fire. Would have been hard to render in the game. No, this guy is literally burning. He has been in the sun and out. One full second in the sun. He's out. He's lit everything on fire. Like, this is Springtrap after the Five Nights at Freddy's free fire. This is this is him right here. He just looks so cool. I love the red on him. Red's my favorite color, so come on. And the fire is just brilliant. I absolutely love this skin. And I think it's the only skin that permanently makes a sound when it doesn't only move. Like, it's just such a cool skin. The endoskeleton is literally molten. It's on fire. It's like one of those flaming knife videos. His endoskeleton is just those flaming knives times 5,000. It's just such a really detailed skin, and I love this skin to pieces. Alright, before we get to number one, I got some honorable mentions. Freddy Frostbear. I mentioned him in the Boulder Toy Bunny segment. Freddy Frostbear, I was initially going to put him on this list, but I decided to go with Toxic Springtrap instead. He would have been an honorable mention, but like, Freddy Frostbear, how, how did the first skin in the game manage to be so good? I mean, he technically isn't a skin, you know? He does have a CPU, his separate name, doesn't have skin in his name, but it's technically a skin. I love that he holds the icicle, the pattern on his bow ties, brilliant. And he's cracking! Like, it's literally Ice. Ice Freddy, right there. Holly on his top hat, he's just such a brilliant skin. And like, I mentioned the audio, I love the audio cues with all these skins, and very good skin. For my second and final honourable mention is Toy Freddy. No, I'm not joking, Toy Freddy has two great skins, Woodland Toy Freddy and VR Toy Freddy. These two skins are just so cool. I didn't have time to mention how good Woodland Toy Freddy was in Boulder Toy Bunny, so you know what? Honorable mention right now, let's do it. Woodland Toy Freddy is so good. I love how he has his staff and stuff, holding it around, like, just like the ice cold with Freddy Frostbear, so cool. The detail on him is amazing. The wood texture, I really like for some reason, I don't know why. A moss on him again. Again, the mushrooms are brilliant. It's just a very well-rounded and good skin. And it's also Groot Freddy. Thanks again, Dorco. Then there's also VR Toy Freddy, which is a very, very good skin. I don't know why I love the shade of purple. It's been it's been twice in this video. I love purple. It's not my favourite colour, but the purple shades on these skins, top notch. VR Toy Freddy is just so strange to me. Like, he has his VR headset in the workshop, and then when he's in the actual, like, segment when you catch him, why is he different? But I love that. I think, like, what it means is that he's in a simulation in the workshop, and that simulation is trying to kill you, and that's what VR Toy Freddy actually looks like when he attacks you. It's very cool. However, there can only be one number one, and it was tough, but I think System Error Toy Bonnie takes the cake for me. Oh boy, there is a lot to unpack in this skin, so let's go. 
Number one, the colours are absolutely brilliant. The red colour for Toy Bonnie definitely works. And for some reason, the inside of the Enzo skeleton is yellow. Very nice touch, I like that. So that's one point, the colours are very nice. Two, the pixel effect coming off of it is brilliant. I love that, that effect. Three, the system error on its belly is a very nice touch. And four, what's not to like, it's Toy Bonnie. Toy Bonnie is actually my favourite character in the entire FNAF and this skin just works so well for Toy Bonnie and there you have it. That is my number one favourite Five Nights at Freddy's AR skin. Oh boy, that sure was a wild ride. The Lumix are doing a great job with these skins, none of them are disappointing me so far. It was definitely a fun video to make and I'll try and get videos back to normal but such a good game I just gotta keep playing it more I'm sorry so thanks for watching and if you want to see another perspective on these top fives then you can go into the description I'm not sure if they'll be there yet but maybe soon there'll be some more top fives for you to check out from some of my friends on their opinions on their top five skins but I don't think that's out yet so just leave it for now but yeah thanks for watching and squid ammo